what we truly want in this in this in this paradigm is to be appreciated for what we've mastered. This is why there's a such thing called fame, right? We don't have fame because people want uh, self gratitude. We want to be appreciated by what we're capable of doing, right? I mean, it starts in school. They teach us in school. Whoever can get this right gets a reward. Not everybody gets it right for making the effort, but whoever gets it right gets a reward. Whoever doesn't, try again next week. They taught us survival of the fittest. Everyone is fit to survive, but not everyone works at it. Okay, so it's like, who's gonna work at it the most? Well, how does the one at the top of the food chain who has knowledge, who knows wisdom, who teamed up with the right team, is gonna do to make sure that it's scarce for for the people who are strong, who could kill me? I wanna disable the people who can who can top me. Right. So what I do, I tell them they weak. Right. I show them they weak. I put them in a weak posi position, and I make myself look glorious. A lot of leaders have no energy for us. They just look good. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Too right. many of our brothers and sisters are looking good and not being good. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. Saying love and not being love. Right. I met, and this goes back to the question of purpose relationship. I asked the question because when I, when I had my rebirth, it was so interesting because I started to realize that the guy that I was building with I truly loved him. Truly loved him. That ain't change. What changes our circumstances, our environment, the way that we communicate. When I first met him, I saw his entire aura. It was something that, that I gravitated to. And I took my time. And I wanted to take my time. But it was purpose that I saw in him. And I was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta nurture this. Because I was in a place of healing. And I was growing, and I was positive, and I was loving where I was at. I was feeling myself like, yes, yeah, like, mm. There were still a lot of things that needed to be done that needed to be improved on. But that did not change the fact that I saw greatness in somebody and wanted to push them to their potential. But you can't change people. And you can't force them to wake up. It's like he said, waking somebody up out of their sleep. You know, you wake up, it's cold. You know what I mean? You didn't really get no good rest. Or if you did, you just don't feel like waking up. You don't feel like getting out of bed. Somebody's pushing you, constantly nagging you to get up because they see what's going on, but you're not ready. Emotionally, spiritually, a lot of people are not spiritually mature. You can have big breasts, a big booty, long hand, all of that, but you're not spiritually mature. You're going to run into different potholes. You understand what I'm saying? And it's and what's not healthy about it is you start dragging people in there with you. You get so comfortable in it that when you do find your way out, this is what you do. You start, yo, look, I got some place that I hooked up. I decorated this place that I call my darkness, which is nothing wrong with darkness because if you can see yourself in darkness, you know yourself, you're not afraid of darkness. You just keep planning your light. You keep putting the light into that darkness. With a purposeful relationship, it's 100% to know your purpose with the person that you're in position with. Mm. So you can be in formation. Mm. You can fuck all day and go nowhere. Right. You can talk about your dreams and aspirations all day and go nowhere. Right. When you love someone, you... And my brother, brother, shout out to Brother Soul, DJ Rutlaw. He said to me, a lot of people go in relationships and don't ask each other. How do you love? And what do you identify love to be? gonna come into my life reminding me of who I used to be that's out the window that's long gone done and over with I want to bigger and better ain't nothing wrong with change am I still playful fun crazy as hell certainly only now I'm more crazy as heaven <laughs> I left hell alone you feel me purified that situation <laughs> that's a first I like that so where I'm getting at is, you find that person that you care about, ask them how they love, right? I love by giving. I love by seeing something great in you, telling you, right? I'm not one to just be like, oh, 
this person got great potential. I'm a universal lover. My expression is not. I express love in all kinds of ways. Not just an affection, not gift given, not telling, no. By simply saying, oh, you got the gold in you. Let me show you how you can manifest that. Let's make the alchemy real quick. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have ownership. See, as a Taurus and an Aries, I can be possessive. But I've turned that around for the good. So when you learn your vices and the things that don't work for you and don't benefit other people, you can turn that around. That's not something you need to get rid of. It's in you for a reason. So possess your craft, not people, not things. Purpose in a relationship, friendships. Be mindful that the people you cross paths with is to better you. Okay? It's not, it's not about a selfish thing. Like, right, let's get rid of that word, right? We, we, be in the, we be in the one house too much. Get out the one house, get into the two house, the house of material, the house of possession, the house of resourcefulness. Now we're talking about houses in Zodiac. Think about a, a tetrajon. It has many shapes, many, many frames, many angles. Okay? Get out the one house, get into the second house, and be resourceful of yourself. Start giving. You receive, listen, receiving is part of giving. You always got something to give. If it's not a dollar, it's a comment, it's a word, it's encouragement. Give something. Be resourceful in your relationships. That serves purpose. You, I saw something, and I do still see something so great in that person that I love so much. But I won't sit there and continue to receive hate, disownment. I love by uplifting. So if I wanna, if I wanna chill with you and I wanna see you, it's because I wanna work on something. When I say, all right, let's get to work. That doesn't mean I don't love you. That's my way of saying I love you because no one else is going to push you the way I'm going to push you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And a lot of people want, oh, let's go out to dinner. All right, we're going out to dinner. That's cool. Let's leave your time is always great. Quality time is always good. But let's continue to build. Let's keep the movement going. Let's not be stagnant. Let's rest together. Rest and meditate. Don't sleep. Rest and meditate. That means when you close your eyes, the vision should be always moving. Picture by picture by picture by picture by picture. Plain and simple. So, it's your girl Rebel Jones. I'm living in the process. You know what I mean? I'm here at Three Black Cats with my brother Wise. And today is Friday. But you're probably going to get this in a different time capsule. So I'm sending this out into the universe. Um, your future, my past, the present is always a gift. Um, happy holy days every day stay holy that means stay purified keep cleansing yourself don't be afraid to look in the mirror and see the things that are wrong and improve on them and don't do it at anybody else's expense okay because that's self-destructive don't change yourself and it's been told to you years that's because it's the truth it's, the truth don't change you're gonna hear you hear that oh I heard that plus cliche it's probably because it's the truth truth is simple Get extraordinary. Okay? Stay focused. Keep seeking. Seeking knowledge and wisdom is important. Read a book. <laughs> write a book. Right. You got a lot of shit going on in your mind, write it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes I don't like reading. So let it out. And then when you feel like you've, you've given and exhausted your, your entire creativity, read something. It's important. I love you. I encourage you to be great today. Don't dream big, be big. Mm. Okay? But if you ever are and still, if you ever are and still, <laughs> and your dreams, keep creating. Start seeing your walls. Plan a sight every night. And every morning rise, give thanks. It's your girl, Rebel Joe. I'm living in the process. And, um, I'm replenishing. Give thanks.